going on, Capricorns? We're checking the energy, trying to see who is digging in your energy right now. Who's pulling on you? Okay. Thanks to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. Um, this energy could be masculine or feminine, so just place it wherever you need to, my loves. Okay. Um, so instead of being in the comments and saying, hey, that's not my story, that's someone else's, or that wasn't him, or that was me, or whatever, just put the energy wherever you need to. In, in other words, it could be vice versa. Okay, it could be someone in your circle, etc. All right. So let's see what's going on. Capricorn. Okay, somebody got a fuck boy or a fuck girl in their midst. Okay. This is what's coming through. No commitment. Fuck boy, fuck girl is how I roll. Okay. This is a person that was afraid to give you some sort of commitment or put a title on it because of past relationships. Okay, so in other words, their heart hardened, right? So if they were done wrong or if they, they received hurt in the previous relationship, they were either still hurting from that, dealing with that, or may have been uh, treating people bad based on how they were treated. So in other words, not um, they were not treating people kindly because of how somebody else treated them so yeah you you were like misdirected so they were giving you energy that was meant for someone else capricorn okay but now this person is staying up late they're thinking about you right because they're in some bullshit yep i belong to you even while i'm with them okay so that i believe that the yeah love is coming through here okay so this is a person that fell in love with you please listen to me capricorn this is a person that fell in love with you, but this is a person that loves the person that they're with, right? So we know, we all know that if you love someone, that could be any type of love, right? A mother, father, sister, brother, friend, right? You know, whatever it is, right? So I feel like even though they're in a relationship with this person, they feel like this is a person that they love and that they're going to be connected to regardless of whatever the situation is. Okay, when it came to you, Capricorn, they fell in love with you, meaning their heart uh, is in it, right? I feel like I want to be with you. I crave you. I want you. I think about you, right? This is the way they, they think about you, not this person that they with, right? So they stay up late at night thinking about you, um, thinking about sexual times that they had with you. Um, they could have liked to bend over for you or you could have liked to bend them over, Capricorn, whatever it is. This is what's coming through here, okay? So someone's thinking of, of their time with Capricorn while they're with someone else. And I feel like they have an obligation to this person that they're with, whatever that may be, okay? Um, they're definitely obligated to them and they love them. And they're like, hey, I love this person. Uh, okay, thank you, Spirit. They're telling me that they've been with this person for a long period of time. So in other words, if they grew up with this person or they spent a certain amount of years with this person, they feel like their loyalty is is for that person, even though they may have seen other people. So um, don't it doesn't matter who I'm, I'm screwing on the side. I'm always going to be there for you or I'm always going to be here in this house or I'm always going to do for this family, etc. This is what's coming through. Okay. So this is someone that knows that they were in a situation that they needed to let go of some time ago and they still didn't let it go. And I feel like this could be two people that love each other, have longevity, um, but they still stay together because of the years that they've been dealing with each other, right? At this point, it'd be stupid if we walk away from each other. At this point, we would look stupid to friends and relatives if we we broke up because, yeah, we've been together forever. This is the energy that's coming through, right? So both of these two people knew that they needed to let that shit go, though, right? So they were holding on to to each other right and that's that toxic shit right that's that capricorn energy the toxicity and i feel like this these two people that's coming through your reading uh capricorn um i feel like it's it's a person that you were dealing with that's in, the, in a relationship with someone else this is the energy that i'm talking about 
but they're pulling on what well, that one person is pulling on you because they have obligation where they are and they are thinking about you because you're the person that they're in love with. Right. So this is they didn't want to um, walk away from the person that they needed to walk away from. Right. And they tried to put you in a third party situation. And I feel like that that was uh, going like that for a little while. And then something happened to where it stopped. OK, um, this person is sitting in their ego. Right. They have a lot of fear. The fear is that they, they fear that they, they'll never be able to to be with you the way that they were. Um, I feel like they they miss you immensely, but they feel like their their loyalty um, should be number one at this point. I don't know. Uh, what's going on in the relationship or the union that they're in. But I feel like whatever it is, they feel like they got to be there for that person and they cannot turn their back on that person. But this is a person that still does their dirt out here in the streets. Okay. This person always like to hang out with you, like to go out, wine, dine you. And this is a person that feels like they have a good time with you and they may be trying to plan something for their peace of mind on how to come back towards you um, to spend some time with you, okay? This is a person that's having wet dreams as well when it comes to you. They can't stop it, okay? But this is also a person that has um, bad childhood memories. They may have not gotten along with a mother or a father or were abandoned by a mother or a father, right? This is a person that, um, yeah, they have these issues of abandonment, okay? Um, and they've always kept someone around them in the cut. And I feel like this person that they're with is the person that they've been with the longest. And this is why, you know, they're at like at this point, it's stupid for us. You know, we've been together and thank you, Spirit, 20 plus years. We've been together 20 plus years or more. It, it's stupid to leave you alone. I'm not going to do that. My loyalty is here. Um, I'm not feeling that they have any children, but I'm feeling like... They, they could each have individual children, but not children with each other, right? So they're staying in a situation uh, because of financial stability, right? They've they've invested in a relationship, a situationship, a home, right? They, they have things tied and assets tied to another person. So they stay there to take care of that, right? But they do their mischief and their fantasy play outside of the home, okay? This is This is what's coming through. The person that wants to go out and you know give you some drinks and you know sit and stare at you or talk to you capricorn okay this could have been someone that you enjoy going out with as well let's see what's going on here right yep this person is in a in a relationship okay um and it's a sort of um like i said it's like an alternative type of relationship this is not normal, okay? So both people, either they see people on the outside of, of their union or they have, okay? They could have done a tit for tat, like, oh, you were seeing someone, I found out about it now. You know, now that I found out about it, I'm going to go do this and I'm going to piss you off and make you jealous type thing. This is the energy just coming through. Someone could be dealing with a Taurus or someone could have Taurus in their chart, right? Uh, but this is absolutely a couple, okay? Absolutely, okay? Um yeah if these two people are married like i said it's an alternative marriage where things are not normal um they don't move like a normal couple but but for show i feel like they do like it has to be a facade it has to look a certain way things have to be a certain way right and, and yeah we, we don't need to to shake the boat because yeah we've been together all this time we just go ahead and go forward with whatever it is like these two people are set in their ways right and I feel like when you came into the picture, Capricorn, I feel like you gave this person like a spark of different, right? So you were able to give them a life or or some needs were met um, that they didn't even know they needed met, right? They just they were able to be a different person with you um, than the person that they're they're currently with. And this is why and how they fell in love with you. Okay. So this is the energy that's coming through, right? Bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, so this person, uh, you know, they feel like that you are their destiny, right? You could be dealing with someone that has Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus in their chart, 
right? But this person may be getting karma, good or bad, based on how they've treated people, right? Um, I see that this cycle with this person has not ended, right? Like it should have. Um, and I feel like even if they feel, yeah, thank you, Spirit. If even if they feel like this is going to end with this other person, they restart it because they're, it's out of fear. That fear of being alone or that fear of not having this person keeps them attached to them, no matter what else they're doing out here in these streets, right? Oh, no, well, I got to fix this because, you know, I can't be without such and such. And I, and I feel like it's a codependency between the two of them because they both do the same shit. I feel like they both feel like they got to fix it instead of both of them going off and finding their own type of uh, a relationship or something that would really make them happy. Um, instead of staying together out of obligation or out of longevity, this is what I'm seeing. OK, so this person is pulling on your energy, uh, Capricorn. OK, because they miss you and they're, they're in love with you. OK, so I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.